Thank you for staying with us on Consider This. Melissa and Sherrod here with you tonight. We're talking to Dr. Chong Sin Woon, the uh, MCA Secretary General. Now, earlier in the show, uh, at the start of the program, you talked about the Tanjong PI win as a new chapter for MCA. How exactly is the party going to ride on that? You know, you talked about it being uh, rejuvenating the party. What is the strategy now moving forward to reform MCA to win back the support? Well, as, as I said earlier, we as opposition party, we cannot just attacking, criticizing and bashing the government. We must come up with policy, alternative policy, uh, discourse that we can discuss with the rakyat and also listening to the rakyat. Uh, nowadays, we, we do not only believe that the leaders knows everything, but let's open up the door, open up the platform to listen to the people. Uh, at that juncture, we also open up our membership to non-Chinese as associate member. We hope to listen more to non-Chinese uh, points of views and also to, to open up our, our discourse on our issues, not only focusing on Chinese educations uh, and Chinese businesses and the Chinese uh, culture issues. And on that note, the Tanjung BI by-election also let us learn a very good kind of campaigning within the Barisan National. This is the first time ever that we really work as a team. In those days, Amno will take uh, care of the Malay, let the Chinese, we're going to take care of the Chinese, MIC will take care of the Indian. But this time, you can see a real Barisan National campaign, the machinery, where we have uh, a Malay leaders, the UMNO leaders come to the Chinese crowd, talk to the Chinese, tell the Chinese what UMNO leaders uh, think about. And our MCA leaders, we flew in Basa, Malaysia, go to the Malay Kampong and talk to the Malay. And, and we even have a very fluent Chinese-speaking uh, UMNO youth leader. Uh, very fluent Chinese speaking Indian leaders come to the Chinese and using a Mandarin and and the the Pentaxiran and the Jaziran and also the uh, JR made by the Wanita consists of all parties so this is a, a very good feel of the real Barisan Nation should be and the Rakyat wanted to see a multiracial kind of coalition a real one a true true one and that shows in, in Tanjung PI. And from that, we're going to use this model to be used in the whole country. You know, it seems to me that you're talking about a kind of feel that we associated with Pakatan Rakyat and Pakatan Harapan. Mm. When they were in the opposition, <laughs> they came together, yeah. they crossed lines. They were right. As soon together. as they want power, and, and they are in power, they seem to have fractured and so on and so forth. I mean, is this the nature, do you think, of politics? For the, the long 60 years of governance under, under Barisan National, as I say again, there are hiccups here and there, but overall, we did brought the country from a very beginning, a poor country, into a more advanced country. So we have all this uh, a good prime minister. Uh, you have Dr. Rahman, Tun Razak, you know, uh, uh, Hussein On, all the way until Najib Razak. They have a different kind of policies to, to focus on the country development. Uh, of course, when we are in opposition, it's, it's a good time, it's a good chance for us to sit down, get back to the ground, and let's talk again. Okay, is, is there a chance of actually going back to the past in some ways, you know, the politics of accommodation and so on, especially today, when Sabah and Sarawak are pulling in very different directions, are actually changing the nature of federal politics in Malaysia. What is MCA's sense of the, the Bonio dynamic that's been injected into Malaysian politics? Well, I, I, will, I have always been saying that if you want to learn the spirit of one Malaysia, go to East Malaysia. The, the look East policy should be looking at the East of Malaysia. The true Malaysian spirit are there in Sabah and Sarawak. So if Bonio can play a bigger role in Malaysian central politics, I would say that it's a good thing for the country. Let us, the, the West Malaysia, learn from Sabah and Sarawak. The, the true spirit. Now, if I may pivot the conversation now in the couple of minutes that we have left, I do want to make sure we have time to touch on the uh, Ta College, the um, Ta College, U University College controversy. Right. Um, so recently on the show, we had the finance minister Lim Guadeng. We also had president of the Tasian uh, Alumni Association here on the show. Now, I want to get a sense from you, after everything that they've said, saying that the government now agreeing to channel that uh, 30 million ringgit through a trust fund, and we heard Lim Guan Ning say that MCA has not been uh, discussing or in talks with, with the finance minister. Can you respond to that? No, when, when question asks uh, on Lim Guan Ning, are you willing to talk to MCA? He said, no need. 
because I already have the, the kind of condition. Uh, as, as long as MCA relinquished their control over Star UC, I'm going, to pay, I'm going to give you 30 million or even more. Today, this morning, he announced another 10 million, 40 million. Right. What for? After the AGM of MCA, after uh, Zahid said that if, if BN comes back as a government, we're going to give more to, to Star UC, suddenly you increase 10 million. I mean, looking at this finance minister, he, the, the way he manages the country's fund is like, it's like his own money. He announced in the budget, only allocate 1 million for Thai UC. Why suddenly after Tanjung PI, he said, I can give you 30 million. You but have to go to a proper right. channel. The, 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 the one thing though, to clarify, was the legal problem with the, with the structure of the government structure that in fact, uh, there should be a 50% control by or at least independent governors. Now, is that, is that a, a problem? Do you see that as a problem? No problem. We comply everything. For the past 50 years, it complies. Look into the board of director, uh, board of director in the Thai UC. Five of them, we have ten. Five of them are from government, uh, from the Ministry of Education, from the Ministry of Finance. So they were there since day one, where we have the matching grant, one ringgit to one ringgit, and after that, the maximum of thirty million. They have sitting there for so many years, and and the, every name that we are proposing into the trustee, and also board of director are being approved by the government from the different ministry. So we have been, you know, following the guidelines and rules. Comply every time. So why make a fuss suddenly or targeting on MC and Thai UC? So what happens now? There is a standoff right now. Who is going to back down? Okay, the, the, the ball is with the government. We are opposition and Thai UC is only an education institution. We have no power at all. What we are talking now is please fulfill the government promises of giving Ta UC at least, no, the maximum of 60 million every year. If you cannot give 60 million, give 50 million, 30 million, 40 million, you decide. But you don't go and set up a new fund, uh, a so-called foundation, which has not been set up. And already, we saw the letter from Lim Guan Ning, you already approved 30 million. Today, add on another 10 million. Who are these funds going to channel when there is no such foundation? We have never seen a pre-approved allocation to somebody. Uh, this uh, so-called TAA is only like 12 years old. It is not a, a, a long history. But you know, the, the, the Tashian uh, president is an MCA member. So what? A lifelong MCA member. So what? Okay. So what? I mean, we are over 1 million. You can be a taxi driver, you can be anybody is a, is a life member or MCA member. That doesn't really legalize you to do that. If you ask me, 30 million is not a small number. If you really want to help, give it to the TAR Board of Directors. They are representative from the government. They are ruled and run by the guidelines of the, of the government for the past 50 years. And it's proven. It's proven they are good management there. Unfortunately, I'm being told that we've run out of time. That's all the time we have on the show today. Thank you so much Thank for being you. on the show. Sherrod and I will be back tomorrow, same time for another episode of Consider This. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.